In this video, we're going to talk about the WeZoom app for Android that can turn your phone into a magnifier. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible. A while back, I uploaded a video about Visor Low Vision Magnifier app for Android and I actually filmed it before the WeZoom app released. Ever since it released, I've been wanting to do a video about it. I think Visor and WeZoom are really great apps and I will link my video about the Visor app in the YouTube card and in the description below. And today I wanted to share an overview of WeZoom and how it works and some of my thoughts on Android magnifier apps. But hey, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. We do videos on technology, tips, and encouragement for people who are blind, visually impaired, and their sighted supporters. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell if you want to see more videos like these. So WeZoom is a free app on the Android Play Store, and once you have it downloaded and installed, you can open it and on the main screen of the app, you will see on the top left corner a indicator which tells you what magnification level you're in. If you want to zoom in, all you have to do is slide your finger up on the screen, and if you want to zoom out, you can slide your finger down on the screen. So this is really useful when you're reading printed material or you can also use it for distance viewing. So I like to use this app, especially at church. There's also a setting where you can extend the zoom. So it uses like a digital zoom to try to make things zoom in even more. So from where we sit in the church, I zoom in as much as I need to so that I can see the PowerPoint with the lyrics. By default, you can tap to focus, and this is actually really good, especially when you're reading, because remember that the cameras on smartphones were really designed for distance viewing and taking pictures, so automatic focus gets kind of confused when you're trying to magnify a book and it will constantly focus. So that's why it's really great to be able to lock that focus and you can just tap on the screen to make it focus. You can also change it to autofocus in the settings, which I will go over. By default, there are some buttons on the right side, but you can flip the whole interface around if you're left-handed and you can change it in the settings and I'll explain that later. And the first button starting from the bottom is the flashlight button and this will toggle the flashlight on your phone and having it on really does help in especially low light situations or when you're using color filters and you can just judge which is better for you whether to have that flashlight on or off. The next button up is the freeze frame button and you can use this to temporarily take pictures of something and then you can pinch to zoom and use a finger to pan around. You can save this picture or share this. If you want to permanently save the pictures, you'll have to change that in the settings. And you can also change the color filters. And the color filters is the next button up. And this cycles through all the available color filters or the ones that you have selected. The top button on the right is the settings button. And if you select this, it opens a little box with more options. So the first one is brightness and then contrast. And they have sliders that you can adjust in case you want things darker or more contrast or lighter or however you would like it. Under that is a checkbox for focus. If you leave that checkbox unchecked, it will keep manual focus on, so you'll have to tap to focus. And if you check that, it will do automatic focus. For the most part, I just leave that unchecked and it works a lot better. The next icon is the help button. That's where you can learn a little bit about the app or contact the developer. The next button is the settings button. If you select that, you will go to a menu where um, you can control the different filters that you cycle through. You can control how much zoom or how much resolution your camera is using. And it's always pretty much best to keep it at the highest possible resolution as possible. You can also change the left-handed, right-handed mode here. And if you want to be able to permanently save pictures that you take with the WeZoom app, you have to check the last option down. Here you can also set the volume keys to do certain actions like change the color filters or turn on the flashlight or take a picture. 
So WeZoom is such a great magnifier app for Android and I think that it is one of the best, if not the best, magnifier app on Android. However, I still like Visor Low Vision because of the buttons. I just really have a hard time with the WeZoom buttons. I don't know if it's just because I'm really blind and I have, I, I just, I just have a hard time. They just have really small buttons and I really wish that they could make bigger buttons and ones that are as high contrast as it is on Visor. Visor is really big on simplicity and if you don't need too much, you can use Visor and I just really like their buttons, but both of them really need a full screen mode where you can dismiss the, all the buttons or just have everything off of the screen so you can use the whole screen as a magnifier and not have like all these buttons or text um, you know, in the way. Also with WeZoom, it's really great that they have brightness and contrast settings, but they have such small sliders that I have a hard time with them. I'm not saying that they're not doable. I can do them, but I mean, I can use them, but it's just a little bit difficult. I think that they should have that whole menu button uh, pop up a much bigger, if not the whole screen to show the options. Also, I wish that they could add more gestures. So maybe like a three finger swipe up and down. I've seen that on the, what is it? The Optelec Compact Touch, I think it was called. And so they have like all these different gestures and that would even eliminate the need of buttons or like, you know, if you are in full screen mode, you won't necessarily need to go to um, the buttons to control something. But then again, I am not a developer. I don't know how much work that would be or how hard that will be. But these are just some things that I wish they had in the app. I will say that I have both installed on my phone and I kind of use them for different things. I use WeZoom more for distance viewing and Visor when I'm reading things. But then again, sometimes I use the camera because at least on my Pixel 2 XL phone, all I have to do is double press the power lock button and it launches the camera. I'm looking for a way to reprogram that shortcut so that it can launch a magnifier that would be super cool and if i do find a way to do that i definitely will share it with you guys so what do you guys use leave that in the comment below what are your opinions what are your thoughts what do you wish were in these magnifier apps well that's it for this one thanks for watching and if you like this video give it a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos on how you can live accessible i'll see you guys in the next one